I don't know. Hello, YouTube. Zach Nafina Aconite here. And today, um, addressing a question that I've kind of sort of been putting off, you know, just because I don't really have an official answer for it. You know, online transactions are kind of a pain in the ass for me. And I, uh, I really wanted to admit that. Don't want to look like a bitch. But I get it, you know? I mean, uh, a lot of my masks, they, um... Yeah, big shock. A lot of the shit that I make myself is just gonna look a thousand times better than anything that's mass-produced and maybe seasonally available at best. So, um... I think my cat just took a bite out of sandpaper. Oh, no, we're good. Anyway. Let me just, uh... Compare some peeled visage masks here, okay? This is from, um... What's the company again? I got rid of the tag, but they're made in uh, Mexico. These are store-bought, okay? And they look okay, you know, this one particularly better than the other. The sculpt is nice, I guess. Here's mine. <laughs> well, Clarice, have the lamb stopped screaming? It just goes without saying that if you want something done right, you're going to have to do it yourself. And, um, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, and I have <laughs> made a lot of masks. Uh, not just the ones that can be molded, you know. Not just ones that can have, you know, multiple versions of them, arguably. I mean, this is my own version of the haunted mask, which is already, uh, <laughs> like, you be the judge. Easily one of my favorite ones yet. As well as even some fabricated pieces that I made out of paper mache and cotton. Like, I get it. A lot of the shit that I do, a lot of the shit that I make, it looks damn good. Of course you want in on it. I would too. Trouble is, I just haven't figured anything out right now. My life is not quite a mess, but... It, there's just a lot going on. I got a lot of ideas, creative-wise. And uh, there's just some things that I haven't figured out quite yet. And apparently online transactions are on the top of that list. So until I figure that out, until I figure out... I'm sure it's not different than ordering shit on Amazon or eBay, you know. But I only know how to order. I don't know how to take orders. I don't know, you know. I just don't know enough yet. I, I, I need a mentor is where, really what I need. And... <laughs> Maybe this video is like a, you know, cry for help on the slide. Like, oh, hey, I need some help here. And, no, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I definitely want to get in on it. I could use, <laughs> I don't want to say I could use the spare cash, but, yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be handy to know that you give enough of a shit about my art to fork out 80 bucks for one of these. Because, don't get me wrong, I want to sell it, but I also don't want people getting pissy with me because of how high quality they really are like without sounding too much like a uh stuck up jerk like these things aren't exactly easy to sculpt or mold or anything like that this one in particular had some flaws behind the ear that i had to spend like an entire day fixing it's just a process and as much of a process as it is to learn how to start like an online business or whatever even an etsy shop um it's just as big if not more so a process to make each and every one of these painting them for sure uh although that's actually my favorite part just because it actually you know you start to see it all coming together uh all your hard work finally coming to fruition but um yeah i'll let you know when i figure it out okay this video is sort of a yeah i'm working on it type of announcement but uh i i might even just make another video once i figure it out like oh hey find me here fuckers uh so if you like <laughs> maybe not um not profanely worded, but yeah, you get my you get my meaning. You will know when I start selling these. I want to just as much as you want it. So uh if you like, please like. Feel free to share obscure little thoughts in the comments below as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do, and as always, thank you so very much for watching and being patient. And I love you all.